everyone, Monroe Still here from Fashion Still NYC and welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of 2021. So if you are new to my channel, I'm Monroe. I'm a fashion, travel, and lifestyle blogger. Make sure to check out my blog, Fashion Steel NYC, for fashion tips, new blogger and content creator tips, tips about dating, like, I write about everything on my blog, y'all. So make sure to check that out. There's a link below. Also, make sure to go on over and follow me on Instagram. I do a ton of fashion outfit videos, fashion tips, and all of the above. So welcome to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2021. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a little recap of my top 10 favorite outfits of 2020. And I think you all are gonna love it. So without further ado, we're gonna get into my top 10 outfits. Please note that everything that is still available will be linked down below in the description box. You can also just download the Like to Know It app. It's an app that a lot of fashion influencers and also home decor and hair influencers use. And then you could just follow me there at Monroe Steel to get automatic links to everything I'm wearing on Instagram and also in my YouTube videos. But everything will be linked down below and we're going to get into my outfit of the day first and foremost because I know you wanna know, and I'm gonna give you the details. So for my outfit of the day, I'm wearing my Dangle Chanel earrings. These are sold out. I'm wearing my double necklace here from Electric Picks, and I will be sure to link this necklace below. This necklace is from Majuri. I have a link down below that if you use it, you get an automatic discount on your first Majuri purchase they have really lovely jewelry the lip is nars mysterious red velvet matte lip pencil it is linked down below in the description box if you're interested in my hair it was done by more kinks which is based in brooklyn new york i will link her down below the rest of my jewels i will also Link, I am wearing my Cartier ring that you would have seen in the last video. Majuri Gold Rame bracelet, Majuri stacker ring. I think that's it for the jewelry. But for my outfit, y'all, it's all black everything. We starting off the year right. This top is from the brand From The Archive, and they have really cool vintage t-shirts. Y'all, I don't know what kind of material this is. I think this is the relaxed fit, but it is very, very soft. They're meant to look vintage. It's all about fashion with a purpose. This one is the Misunderstood tee. They also have one with like Queen Latifah and it's the Ladies First tee. And I think they're coming out with a ton of different ones. It's super soft, super cozy. I got the size medium and I will link it down below in the description box. Now, these shorts that I am wearing, you would have seen them probably in a previous video where I did a black owned business Black Friday haul. Um, if you're interested in shopping black, I have two videos featuring only black fashion accessories and black designers. So you can check those videos out if you're interested in that. But these silver shorts are from Char Workroom and I absolutely love them. I had to size up to a size large just because of the way they are cut. So I would suggest you size up if you get these shorts. They are everything and I'm definitely going to be wearing them when I head down to Miami for New Year's. Don't worry, that vlog is coming soon. If you're interested in these shorts, I will link them down below. Definitely support a black business. For the shoes, I am wearing my Marco DiVincenzo braided velvet heels. These were so hot maybe about two years ago and I still love them. They are show stopping shoes. I got my normal size in Euro sizing, which is a size 41. I am a true US size 10. I always get a 41 in Euro shoes. They fit perfectly. And so that is my outfit of the day. Everything is linked down below in the description box. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and get into my top 10 2020 outfits. And I don't think I'm gonna do any particular order. I'm not gonna say like number one is actually the number one outfit. I'm just gonna pick my favorite 10 and we're gonna discuss them. But please do let me know which ones are your favorite down below in the comments. I would love to get this conversation started. All right guys, let's get into it. All right, so like I said, this isn't going to be in any particular order, but we will start with look 
number 10, which is a vintage Roberto Cavalli dress that I think I got on Tradesy or Vestiaire Collective or maybe even the real real, like I can't even re remember y'all. But it is brown and white. It has like a little stone here for the necklace. I really got into this while in lockdown. I was watching all of these episodes of Sex and the City and Sarah Jessica Parker just wore all of these like Roberto Cavalli dresses. And she had a similar one to this dress that she wore in the episode where she was robbed. <laughs> I don't know, I just really love this dress. It's like a satin dress. If I can find any online, I will link them down below in the description box. And I paired it with my favorite BCBG sandals and my Louis Vuitton little bag and these earrings. I cannot remember the name of the brand of these earrings, but if they're still available, I will link them down below. Definitely one of my favorite looks of 2020. All right, let's get into look number nine. And this is actually a look I wore to the beach. It is this beaded dress. It has like yellow and pink and blue in it. And then underneath I wore like this crinkle bathing suit from ASOS in a brown color. So it just kind of matches my flesh. So it almost just looks like I'm naked on it underneath, but I'm not. And then the earrings are these ball earrings from Colt Gaia. Colt Gaia has the best earrings. I wore this to, I think it was Long Beach in um, New York. Rose took these photos. We managed to find someone that gave me or let me borrow their surfboard. <laughs> and it just worked so perfectly. This was during lockdown. I feel like we went during the week and there was really hardly anybody on the beach. So we just had a little socially distant beach day. I actually vlogged it where I answered a ton of you guys' questions on the drive down and then I showed you behind the scenes of actually shooting this look. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I will link it down below along with this outfit, if I can still find it. Again, like this is kind of old. I got it from Shopbop, so it might be sold out, but I just, I love this outfit and I still have this cover up. It's really, really beautiful. So that is number nine. Let's get into look number eight, which is this stunning yellow dress that I got from And Other Stories. I paired it with my black and other story sunglasses and then these polka dot shoes. I can't even think of the brand right now, but I will definitely link these shoes down below. I got so many compliments on these polka dot shoes. They were an impulse buy in the summer of 2020 from Farfetch. And this is how I learned of this brand. I think it's Alexandra something. It's kind of hard to pronounce, but I will link the shoes down below. The dress is probably still available at and other stories as well. The earrings are really cool and they are from a brand based somewhere overseas. I will link those as well if they are still available. But I just like how this outfit turned out. Yellow is one of my favorite colors and then also the location of this shoot um, is one of my favorite locations in Brooklyn. And I actually vlogged the day that I took these photos. The vlog is called, I think, Spend a Day With Me in Brooklyn. So if you wanna see behind the scenes of how I shot this look and just having a fun day in Brooklyn, I think we were just coming out of lockdown and we were able to like dine outside. This is when these photos were taken. So this is definitely one of my favorite outfits. And that is number eight on the list. So let's get into number seven on the list, which is this brown muscle tee that I got from Storitz. I feel like the muscle tee, the padded shoulder muscle tee was just so huge in 2020. And I don't think it's going anywhere. So this is one of the most affordable ones that I happen to find. It's very similar to the Frankie Shop tees. Um, if it's still available, I will link it down below. But I got this one from Storitz. I feel like it was under 20 bucks. Maybe it was under 25 bucks. It comes in like every single color. The skirt is a sage green satin skirt. I think this is also from And Other Stories. The shoes, of course, are the Bottega mesh pumps in the nude color. I get a lot of questions about these shoes. Are they comfortable? Are they true to size? I'm a US size 10. I always get a 41 in all Bottega shoes and they all fit perfectly. So if you're interested in those Bottega mesh pumps, I will link them down below. They also come in black. I have both. For the bag, I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton multi-pochette accessoire bag that was on my top 10 luxury buys of 2020 video. 
and I just love this bag. I have the green strap and I just like the green. I feel like green goes with everything. They do have the version that also comes with a pink strap and I love pink too. I'm surprised I didn't get the pink one, but I think green just fits better within my wardrobe. And then I have the Louis Vuitton Louise earrings that I raved about also in my top 10 luxury buys of 2020 video. I am also wearing and other stories sunglasses the tortoise shell version. These are still available so I will link everything down below that you can still buy and this photo was actually in correspondence with a blog post that I posted on my website where I, I answered my most asked 30 questions about my personal life, blogging, like how I make my money blogging, my apartment, just things that people are always asking, my home decor, my plants. And so if you're interested in that, I will also link the corresponding blog posts if you want to know more about 30 things about me and more about this outfit. Also, what I will do is all of these photos they probably have a corresponding blog post so i will link that along with the outfit down in the description box and you can check out the blog post every blog post also has direct links to all the outfits as well that's number seven on the list all right let's get into outfit six all right so let's get into number six on the list which is actually a fairly recent outfit i'm wearing this orange and navy blue tartan skirt which is super old it's from zara there's nothing like it online right now i've literally scoured the internet looking for similars and girl i can't even help you but i mean if you come you have something similar in your closet actually when i posted this photo a lot of you have this skirt from zara it's like four years old but it's a goodie i paired it with this blue top with the asymmetrical neckline from and other stories i'm pretty sure that this is still available so i'll link it the belt is a clear belt from tibby one of my favorite brands one of my favorite contemporary brands if it's still available it's down below the shoes are bottega veneta lido mules and the ice blue color and i just like how it played so well with the top and the skirt i feel like it was a match made in heaven i really felt like i did something when i put this outfit together i was like you know this blue and this orange it's really popping and i love it and this is definitely one of my favorite outfits of 2020 and i got so much love on this outfit and for the earrings i went with the i think these are annie costello brown art earrings and she makes stunning like hammered brass earrings and so i will link those as well the lip is nars endangered red i'm wearing mysterious red here this color here is more like a deep plummy red really good for the winter time the blog post in correspondence with this was i think about how to date in a pandemic I think I had like three tips or five tips for dating during a pandemic that coincided with this photo. So I will link that down below if you want to have a read of that along with anything that is still available from this outfit. I will link that as well. And that is number six on the list. Let's get into number five so number five on the list was a pretty tame outfit if i must say so myself but i just liked how it came together i don't often wear a lot of black here i am wearing a black sweater that actually crisscrosses in the back so the back is kind of open i want to say i got it from boohoo or nasty gal either way I, i'm pretty sure it's still available in a few different colors so i will link it down below and i paired it with one of my favorite pair of jeans which is these a goldie jeans that have the diagonal zipper these are so popular like all the fashion girls have these jeans i love them they are meant to be kind of oversized kind of boyfriend fit i usually go with my normal size which is a 28 they fit perfectly the belt is a loewe belt it's the obi belt one of my favorite accessories in my closet and i just thought it would just bring the outfit together because the sweater is actually kind of baggy and the pants are kind of boyfriend fit so two baggy things don't really mix and so to give the outfit some more shape i added the loewe belt and i mean it just it did what it was supposed to do the shoes are the bottega veneta mesh pumps in black I think previously I showed you them in the nude. These are the black ones, super comfortable, instantly elevate any outfit. Sunglasses are and other stories. And again, wearing my Louis Vuitton 
Louise earrings. And I just love how this outfit came out. Like, yeah. I threw it on the gram and like the likes just kept coming. I think it's just really kind of laid back and chic and just kind of effortless and that's what just made it pop. I also just really love my hair in this outfit. It's nice and slick back. I get a lot of questions about how I slick down my hair. I have a whole video, like two or three maybe, down in the beauty section. So definitely check that out. Anything that's available from this outfit is linked down below. The corresponding blog post was me sharing my top three places that I get fashion inspiration. So if you're looking for inspiration, you wanna know where I find mines, I will link that corresponding blog post with these outfit details. And that is number five on the list. All right, so now let's get into number four on the list, which is another one of my all-time favorite outfits. I am wearing this royal blue, it's almost like suede really, but it's an, a knit dress from Jacquemus. And this dress is super sexy, y'all. Like, the strings are so tiny. It has an open back. It is just very form-fitting. I got my normal size and it fits perfectly. Just one of my favorite buys of 2020 for sure. This dress also comes in gray and in white. I will link it down below. I paired it with these white Jill Sonder boots that are completely and totally and utter, utterly sold out. Like every time I wear these boots, people go crazy for them and I'm so sorry to announce that I got them at a sample sale and that they no longer are made at all, ever. That's the thing about shoes. If you love a pair of designer shoes, you should buy them because chances that they will be made again is slim to none. So, that's just my advice when it comes to designer shoes. But I will link a few similar white boots down below in the description box if you still need to get your fix for a good white boot. The coat is from the Frankie Shop, which just blew up in 2020 and in 2019, really. I feel like 2019, the Frankie Shop came onto the scene with those muscle tees and all of those like beige coats, the oversized boyfriend coat. And this is their trench coat. I love this color, this taupe, it goes with everything. The hat, I got so many questions about this hat. It's from Urban Outfitters and it was literally like $30. It comes in black, it comes in white, it comes in gray. If it's still available, I will link it down below if you're in the market for a really sturdy, it's sturdy. It's not malleable, you can't like bend it or anything like that. It's very, very stiff and those are the kind of hats that I love. And that is look number four, three more to go. If you're enjoying this video so far, please do subscribe. Give your girl a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so that you never miss a video, okay? Because we have a lot of videos coming in 2021. Also, please excuse my nails, y'all. I'm getting them done tomorrow because I'm heading to Miami tomorrow, but yes, they are looking rough. And I'm so sorry. All right, let's get into number three. Are we at number three? Yes, number three. All right, guys, let's get into outfit Number three, which I actually didn't post too long ago. It is one of my favorites just because I love the way everything kind of came out. I finally got to rock this faux leather yellow trench coat from Nasty Gal. You would have seen that in a previous, I think fall or winter Nasty Gal haul. Like I just love the color. It's very retro. It gives me all of the 80s vibes and that's what I'm feeling right now. I think I got the size medium or the size eight and if it's still available, I will link it down below. I mean, it's bright and it's fun and it's awesome. I paired it with my ladies first tee from the archive, which is the same brand of the shirt I'm wearing now. I am wearing the size medium. The skirt is actually from Lulu's and it's kind of like, I thought it was brown, but it's actually kind of like a purplish, deep type of eggplant color, but it does look brown. And I got that from Lulu's and I got the size medium. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. There are a few websites that make this similar kind of faux leather asymmetrical mini skirt and I'll link those too. I know I've found this in black as well. So if you're interested, you know where it is. The boots are the black parton boots from Stuart Weitzman. If you watch my how to style all of the top boot trends for fall, you would have seen these black parton boots from Stuart Weitzman. I love the heel on them. They're just incredible. Very, very soft 
leather and they just look really really chic and cool i got my normal size which is a size 41 and they fit great the earrings again wearing my louis vuitton louise earrings like i said i wore these into the ground which is why they were probably number one of my top 10 luxury buys video the jewelry i'm actually wearing the same two necklaces as in, as in this picture so everything will be linked down below in the description box and you can check out this outfit i actually vlogged i think the same day that i took these photos so i will leave a link to that video if you want to see behind the scenes of how i shot these photos and also the video where i did a black owned business black friday haul where i was showing all of the things i got for black friday from only black owned businesses that video features this outfit as well so i will link that and that is number three on the list so number two on the list is a recent look that you may have seen on my instagram it is this black dress from joseph fashion that i actually found on the real real it's a thick knit asymmetrical shoulder dress with a slit on both sides i love this dress i've been waiting to wear it because i feel like i bought it in the summertime and i got it for such a deal i feel like it was 30 bucks the real real always has these little sales so i just made a favorites file and i just watched it for a couple of months until i didn't feel like it would get any cheaper and i went ahead and pulled the trigger on it i paired it with my chanel belt it's the vintage Chanel belt that I got this summer. You would have seen that in my top 10 luxury buys of 2020 video. And I feel like it just set the outfit off. And also the shoes are the Giuseppe Gold LeMay BB pumps or sandals that I got for, why did I get those? I got them during the Black Friday sales. They were actually on sale on the Giuseppe website as well as on the Farfetch website. So if you're interested in those, they are still available. For me, they are true to size. Like I said, I'm a US size 10. I always get a 41 in any shoe, Euro made or Italian made, and they fit perfectly. The earrings are the same earrings I'm wearing now, and the lip is the same lip I have on now. I will link the shoes probably down below the dress is not available but i will link some of my favorite sweater dresses that are similar down in the description box and you can check those out along with any vintage chanel belts that i can find for you as well the corresponding blog post for this outfit was my favorite black dresses for the holiday season so i've already linked maybe like 100 dresses in this blog post that are similar to this dress that I'm wearing. So if you want to know more or if you're looking for a nice black dress, you can check out that corresponding blog post and it will be linked along with these outfit details down below. And I got a lot of love on this look. Very happy about that. And that is number two on the list. Now, stop the video if you need to, but I would love for you to guess what outfit is number one on this list. And I feel like this is the number one outfit for me for 2020. So place your guesses down in the comments and then come back and see if you got the right answer. Let's get into number one on the list. All right, guys, number one on the list, you probably all guessed correctly. I actually just posted this not too long ago, maybe like two or three weeks prior to this video going live. This is my Nordstrom holiday look. You all saw me shop for this outfit in Nordstrom. You saw me try it on and then you saw me purchase it. If you missed that vlog, I will link it down below. It is this whole look from Nordstrom. I'm wearing this blue see-through top from the brand Bomb something, something, something. I cannot pronounce it. If it's still available, this top, I will link it down below. It's kind of like an organza blue top. It does come with a blue undershirt, but I didn't wear the undershirt with this look. I actually wore a flesh colored bra. So it just looks like I'm naked under there, but I'm not. The skirt is from Margiela. It is a mixture of like an orangey, brownish golden satin underneath a perforated brown suede so it has a lot going on a lot of people say i look like a 
a mermaid in this outfit and I can see why. Like it does look like fish scales almost. It's a really cool skirt. If it's still available anywhere, I will link it down below. I went with my normal size, which is a 42 Italian for a US size six. The shoes, again, wearing the gold Lame Giuseppe heels. The bag is another purchase of 2020, which is the Bottega Veneta pouch bag in ice blue. Um, I do have the matching shoes, so that's the reason why I got that bag. The earrings are from the Gilded Stone, which is a black owned business. You would have seen a lot about them in a few videos I did in December 2020. So definitely check them out. And that is the entire look. That's look number one of 2020. So those are my 10 best or 10 favorite to me outfits of 2020. Let me know which ones are your favorite down below in the comments. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram, like what are you doing? Y'all see all of this? All of this is already on Instagram. You're getting it so, so late. So make sure to go ahead and head over to Instagram and give me a follow at Monroe Steel so you can see more of my outfits of the day. I usually post an outfit photo and video almost every day. And I'm also on Insta stories way more often than these videos go live. So I would love if you head over there and follow me there as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please do thumbs me up subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you never miss a video and thank you so much for watching i think the next video will be a vlog new year's eve in miami vlog so stay tuned for that and i will see you guys in the next one bye